<sighs> Redliner malware seems to be a nuisance, doesn't it? Linus Tech Tips? Hacked. David Bumble? Hacked. Corridor Crew? Hacked. Wait, wait a minute. I wasn't hacked. Or was I? Anyways, all these famous YouTubers bring up a good topic. Session hijacking. So let's pose the question, guys. Can we bypass 2FA that's on my cell phone to log into my account on one of the world's most popular social media apps by using a session cookie? Well, Facebook, hold on to your seats because we're about to expose some secrets. Whoops! So let's first dive deep into what redline malware is. Now this is a type of Trojan is known to be one of the most powerful and sophisticated data stealing malware available to cyber criminals. It's also a type of Trojan that infects your computer and allows a hacker to steal your information like login passwords, autofill data, cookies, and credit card information that nobody stores in their browser for conveniency. Except, except I store all that stuff in my browser for conveniency. Anyways, Redline malware is especially dangerous because it can evade detection by your security software and can operate using something called stealth mode, which means it's probably wearing a black hoodie and operates by using green font. But anyways, it can remain hidden on a victim's computer for a long period of time, allowing hackers to steal more valuable information and go undetected. Shout out to the Windows Forensics Analysis course that goes over things like the Cookie SQLite database, data stream carving, and covering deleted browser data. It's a great course for browser and Windows Forensics. But let's get back into the topic of session hijacking. This is a type of cyber attack where an attacker gains control of a user's session on a website. In simpler terms, it means it's taking over someone's online account without their permission. So let's imagine you're logged into your favorite social media account and you have your browser open as usual. A hacker can use various methods to hijack your session and gain access to that same account. This means stealing your session cookies using like a packet sniffer to intercept your traffic if you're on the same network or exploiting a vulnerability in a website like a cross-site scripting attack. The list goes on. But if you watch the videos on the YouTubers being hacked, the most common denominator and likely successful attack of session hijacking is via social engineering and phishing. So what does this look like? Well, to help visualize what session hijacking looks like, we're going to use Edge Cookie Viewer and some Python code to bypass multi-factor identification and log into everyone's favorite social media app, Facebook. You can't show that type of material, you'll get banned. Oh crap. I guess this is where I should say, find me over on a different platform. But thanks for supporting the channel, guys. Catch me over here on Patreon for more content, and I'll see you in the next video.